that was a third bat. We got called over early. I was augmenting. I was actually stationed at Fort Bragg. And we got well, called was, over a bit sure. early because of the of, of Operation Red Wing, which you had talked about on a previous podcast here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do you just want to jump right into that now that we're talking about it? Um, so you because Brand, I talked to also I talked to Brandon Temple and I'm going to talk to him later. He roped in with Sergeant G um, on that mission. And uh, but I'd love to hear now since we're already talking about it, might as well just talk about it. Let me hear your your portion of it. Like we know Brandy went a huge, that hellacious long walk. Um, you know, just um, just a nightmarish walk. Where where did you fit in? Like, what did you do? St- can take me from like the minute you got the mission or whatever, wherever you fit in, wherever you started the mission, and then till the till the trail. Yeah, it, and I tell you, I go back a little bit, just a little bit prior. Brandy touched sure. on it the last one you're on a previous podcast, right? They were about to rip out when this all happened. Right. And so I was augmenting out of four brag, uh, three third bat, three seven five. So when this all happened, I, I actually remember doing a uh, like a July Fourth celebration there on Bragg, and the next day I believe it was Sunday, get a call saying, "Hey, you got to get down to Benning like right away." Um, they they expedited the launch to get over there so those guys could rip out. And so by the time I think we landed in country, um, on around the July. 5th, fifth maybe uh and then we literally hit that morning we we went in the got dropped off the mountains that night wow um went about a rude got awakening to... brief, got the, you know you got your ammo got the comp set gear got all that stuff squared away got the mission brief and then um i ran who into were you with in, who were you with at fort bragg were you at the 14th or the was it the 22nd still uh, at that you? time, I was at the 14th. The previous okay. assignment, I was at the 22nd. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely yeah. talk on that. I, I want to cover that because there's a lot of cool guys that run that unit. But yeah, so go ahead. So I just wanted to so in the 14th. Yeah, so, so, um, over. so we get over, you know, the, the actual Latrell recovery already taken place. Uh, they'd already recovered two of the SEALs. Uh, there was one left. Uh, the last one recovered was Axelson, Axe. Yeah. And so we went out and basically high-fived. And I believe Brandy was at first bat or second bat that was there? Second bat. Second, second bat. bat. So we so basically we high fived them on a mountain. They got out. We got out. You know, they got on. We got out. Um, and then we spent three or four days just skirting that whole region. Yeah. Um, you know, 24-7 air support. And I'll tell you, my career, for me to be a part of it and to see, hey, we're not leaving until we recover that last guy. Yeah. And to have 24-7 A-10s and AC-130, that that's that was it right there. I mean, that that was the most patriotic I'd ever felt, you know, just, right. just, just the support there. And so yeah, yeah. I think after a few days, the locals uh, realized, hey, we're, we're not leaving until we find Axe. We're mm-hmm. here for that. And we had when we're out there, we crossed paths with, I believe it was still Team 10. And yeah. I think that was a team that X attached to. So a couple of the guys knew him personally. Um, we located, uh, the remains, which, you know, obviously he had, he had been KIA. Right. Uh, and then, uh, actually controlled the recovery myself and the platoon leader. We did some pre-assault fires because of the ingress for the helo concerns, you know, guys in high ground. So we did some pre-assault fires again, had obviously overhead air support to, to watch around. Uh, I controlled the, uh, the helo came in, recovered. And then at that point, uh, we just basically, you know, egressed to uh, out of the mountains. 